to start, I just made an empty folder and opened that folder in VS Code. Then I'm going to start a new terminal here. Now guys, I need you to have some kind of virtual environment. So I want you to, for example, come here and install Miniconda. And then you're gonna say installing Miniconda and download and install this. If you need a video on how to do this, I will make it. Now that you have installed Miniconda, you're gonna have this base in these brackets. So this is the base environment. We're gonna create a new virtual environment. So we're gonna say conda create minus n and then tutorial. For example, this is the name of your environment tutorial in my case. Then you're gonna send y to proceed. And at the end, we're gonna conda activate tutorial. Now, whatever libraries we install, it's gonna be installed in this virtual environment and not in any other environment. So we will, first of all, pip install lang chain so as you can see here langchain is a framework for developing applications with large language models it's extremely powerful we can do absolutely everything there is literally everything in langchain so after langchain has installed we will also pip install chainlit this is basically for putting our langchain application onto a web interface on local host so if I go ahead and say chain lit hello, we're gonna wait for a few moments. And now we can see that we have this new app open at localhost 8000. This is our chat interface that we will use to show our long length chain application. So it says, what is your name? If I say Vook, it's gonna say your name is Vook, chain lit uh, installation is working. You can now start building your own chain lit apps. Now, if we go back to the project, we're gonna see that we have some new files here. So this is chainlit.markdown. This is basically this kind of introduction of what chainlit is. So if we go here to read me, you will see this markdown here about chainlit. And the second thing we have is .chainlit and then config.toml. So we will not look at this for now, but just understand that this is a configuration file for our chainlit web application. Now we are going to create a new file here. We're gonna call it main.py and we will add some code here. So I have this code. Basically we will import chainlit as CL. Then we're gonna say at CL on chat start. So this is basically a decorator. If you don't know what decorators are, they, uh, look at them as functions. So when the chat starts, it's going to execute this function. We have asynchronous function. So we're just calling it start. And then we're gonna await uh, cl.message. This is a function to send message in our uh, chainlit. And then the content is gonna be equal to welcome. And then dot send. So first I'm gonna interrupt the execution of our uh, chainlit app by pressing control C a few times. It should interrupt it. Or if it's not working for some reason, you can just start a new terminal here and you can close this upper one. But be careful, we need to conda activate the same environment again. So conda activate tutorial. And then we will say uh, chain lit run and then our app name, which is main.py, our file, and then dash w and then enter. So this dash w is basically watch. So whenever we update something in the code, it's going to also update our uh, web application as well. So we, we say that the first uh, chat message we have is welcome. This is the welcome message that it is sending here. I now added a bit more code. So we have uh, this other decorator cl.on message. This happens every time a user sends a message. It's gonna execute this function. So it's a synchronous function. Uh, it's gonna receive the user's message, which I'm gonna just check if it's string. And then we're gonna await uh, cl.message. We're gonna send, we're gonna set the same message that user sent as content of our message that we are sending. So we're just gonna repeat whatever user sent. So if I just save this, it should automatically update in our chat interface. So I say, hi, it's gonna repeat with same message. If I say any kind of message, it's gonna just send whichever message it receives from user.